big issue coming out of the Tribune Festival could affect your drive to work. City council members and experts from across the state talking about transportation issues, including light rail. Mayor Lee Leffingwell opting against putting urban rail on the November bond ballot, but officials say light rail is still an option for Austin's future. Omar Lewis joining us from the AT&T Conference Center with all of that. Omar? Good evening. The big question today was, is light rail the best solution for Austin's congestion problems with the city constantly growing and the roads quickly filling up? City leaders are now searching for what the best answer is. Today's panel included Councilmember Mike Martinez, along with representatives from the Delta Dallas Area Rapid Transit System and the Texas Transit Institute. The panel discussion focused on looking at successful models for light rails in cities like Dallas and seeing if something similar would work here in Austin. Now, this isn't a new topic for a discussion for the city. Earlier this year, city leaders were debating adding a metro rail to the November bond referendum. The proposed rail with estimated at a cost of over $500 million would run from Mueller to downtown. Mayor Lee Leffingwell decided against it, putting on it the November ballot. But the members on the pa panel say there aren't any other expansion options other than urban rail. You know, we have a, a finite amount of space on our roadways, so we can't expand them uh, to meet all of the growing demands. One of the ways that we can meet those and one of the components of success is, I believe, with an expanded rail service circulating downtown. And Council Member Mike Martinez says the city's urban rail system here should be something similar to that of Dallas. The hope is to bring a system that will connect people from all over the city here to downtown. Now, there's still no word on. All right, little technical problem there. This week, crews in Austin breaking ground on a different public transit project, Capital Metro's Metro Rapid. It's similar to a bus, except it's much larger. It's got fewer stops and has dedicated lanes through downtown to avoid the traffic.